So I wanted to make a video on this topic for a pretty long time now. So pacing is kind of something that a lot of players use, but they kind of keep it in like the back of their mind. They're not actively thinking about it. And that's probably for the best, but I decided it would be a pretty so decently interesting topic to make a video on because I don't think I've seen anyone mention this ever. I recommend y'all stay till the end of the video. I'm going to be going over a lot of helpful information no matter what skill level you are whether you're really good or really bad at town so let me start off what what is pacing pacing is just going to be how fast or slow you play out a gunfight so fast pacing would be like full sending a building jump peeking around the corner you're running in there with an smg slow pacing maybe you're spending a little more time peeking around each corner maybe you're holding angles for a little bit as you move through the house though keep in mind with slow pacing you can still be jump peeking a corner but you're just gonna take each corner a little bit slower so don't think that if you're playing a fight slowly you can't jump peek a corner now that you know what type what pacing is slow versus pass fast pacing here's how to know when you should use slow pacing and fast pacing i'm going to be using three factors so for example if you're taking a fight and someone's at the top of the green house steps and you're at the bottom and you know that they're going to be watching the angle they have a remington and they're watching straight down the steps this is a fight you would want to play out more slowly because you're at a disadvantage maybe you're going to try to use a jump spot and go around the back get on the roof or something or some different way to play out the fight because you know they have an advantage here so you're going to want to play it slowly you're not you could rush up the steps and full send it but it's very likely you're going to get shot if you know that again they're watching this angle right here yeah so this is an example of a fight you would want to play slowly because you're at a disadvantage Another example could be you just died at Yellow House. You were taking a 1v1 and you died. Now you're pushing back, but you have no idea where they would be. This might be where you would have slower pacing because you don't know where the enemy is going to be, but they likely will know where you are. So you might take a little more time kind of re-aiming your doors and whatnot. Just kind of slowing down how you play. Maybe just a little bit. Then again, you could still full send it, but... Yeah, because they have the advantage they know where you're going to be but you don't have as much idea of how they're going to play out the house an example for fast pacing though is like let's say you're in blue house and you've kind of used your camera and you know that there's someone sitting in that room on that corner and they have like an smg an ar or something like that you can you could have fast pacing here because you know they're there they don't know you're coming and you could get peekers advantage and just spray them off rip and they wouldn't have a chance to react because you would get the first shot and they'd be instantly dead if they had a remington you might have to be more careful because even if you get first shot they have one click and you're dead the next thing you want to take into consideration is your skill level versus their skill level this is probably one of the most important parts um to to how you're pacing yourself essentially the worse the player the faster pacing you can have that's really that simple if they suck, if you if you know the person you're fighting against is terrible and they don't have good aim, and you know you're really you have solid aim, you're hitting your shots, you can kind of just full send them simply for the fact you know you're better. So you can have fast pacing just because you know that you're gonna win the fight nine times out of ten because you're just the better player. Let's say you're fighting a player and you're both of about equal skill level, you're both really very good. That's when you want to slow it down a little bit because you know. If you full send the fight, there's still a pretty likely chance they'll win because they're a really good player as well. Generally, when I'm fighting a player that's of my skill level, I like to slow down a lot because full sending generally won't help me out a lot. Um, a lot of the time, if you full send, you'll just get cooked and they'll instantly destroy you. Um, so I like to slow down, kind of watch my corners, try to think a little more outside of the box, maybe try to reposition, try to flank them, stuff like that. Or, or just hold angles and try to wait for them to push me maybe i'll use third person to try to look through walls or just kind of have a general idea of what's around me and where they're at but really the rule of thumb if you are a better player than them you can pretty much have fast pacing as much as you want the last thing you want to remember is play style so if you know that there's someone in this room you've kind of looked around your camera and you know they're in there and you know that they are a worse player than you and you're the better player you would think automatically let me full send this but let's say 
you know their play style and you know that they're going to be using the riot shield that may be a sign you want to slow down and play the fight a little bit differently so rather than full sending with your smg and then you get shot pretty quickly because they have the riot shield maybe you slow down and use the remington or some other riot shield counter weapon and kind of take them out as you would with any ride show countering weapon but essentially you would just want to slow down a bit because you know that they gonna they're gonna have the ride shield and that's gonna give them an advantage another example is that if you know they're gonna be recklessly just full sending you off rip you can you could play fast against them so i guess fast pacing versus fast pacing but a lot of the times or some of the times it can help to just slow down and let them push you and put themselves into that poor position for example if you killed them and now you know that they're going to be coming back to yellow house they're going to be jumping and they're going to full send you you just hold an angle like this or full prone and watch this and the second you see them coming down the hall or in the yard or something like that you just take the rem shot and then you go back to your cover and like i said you just have to understand their play style um, if you know that they're playing fast a lot of the times you can help just let them make the mistake and then you capitalize off of that if you know that they're playing slow a lot of the times you just kind of have to match that unless you're of course the better player but if you're going against a good player and they're playing slow you really do just have to match their pacing a majority of the time Honestly, guys, most of the time, I end up just full sending a lot of the fights I play. Um, just because, once again, it is town. You respawn. There's not even stats or anything like that. So, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. But, hey, hopefully this helps you all out. Um, generally, this is like a passive thing, something you think out in the back of your mind. I don't, I don't lay this out every time I get into a gunfight in town. But, hopefully this helps someone out. Uh, maybe you're a little bit better player after finishing this video. Uh, if this helps you out, make sure you subscribe, leave a like on the video, and thank you so much for watching. Stay gooey. Peace.